It's the beginning of Delhi Pastrami Week. Yeah. yeah. We're not making our own pastrami. I suppose we could, but that kind of goes against uh, basically the show mentality that I have. Wait, this might be a stupid question. Yeah. Is pastrami beef? Yeah. It's beef. Okay. Yeah. I'm... It's, not, a, it's I, essentially the same cut as corned beef. Okay. It's treated oh, okay. differently, though. Corned beef is more like pickled. This is more like peppered. It's Am I weird, right, no, Chief? I never put... I, look, I actually don't really know what pastrami's made out. I, I, I have no clue. It's virtually the same cut. I just know they put nitrates in it. That's what makes it pink. Like a, like it's like it's like the brisket cut. And it's cured, right? You go in one direction, you get corned beef because it's like pickled, uh -huh. essentially. You go in the other direction and you get pastrami because it's... Is oh, it peppered? Salted pepper? I, I said peppered, but I'm not sure how they get it there. I don't think it's smoked. I've never... Oh, it might be. I've never made it, but I always thought it was yeah. like... More of like a slow. Well, we we could look it up. Too. Let's no, do this. Maybe, this. maybe at the at the break we'll look it up. Yeah. We'll Can we remember that? Because yes. I forget shit all the time. I started telling a story the other day about when I went to a Ace Hardware and I went, oh, I'll tell that story later. I still haven't told it yet. Yeah. I will try and tell it. I heard that when I was editing. That's funny. Right. But let's do this. Um, well, I could use a glass bowl so we could actually see what I was doing. How's that? And I have one right. Oh, mother. Here. Uh, okay, so we're making today a pastrami Reuben. Typical Reuben is corned beef. Corned beef, coleslaw, rye bread. Not a fan of corned beef. I mean, I eat it, but I don't really love it. Whenever I order a Reuben in a restaurant, I order pastrami Reuben. And instead of the traditional sauerkraut that comes with it, I go with coleslaw because I find it a little crunchier. I, I like it's fresher. So we're gonna do a pastrami Reuben with coleslaw, but we're gonna put an egg in it. The typical dressing on a uh, Reuben is Russian dressing. We're making our own right now. That's where we're gonna start. Everybody like that? Sounds good to me. Here's what we need. We need ketchup. You've always loved the Jewish deli meats. Love the Jewish deli meats. I'm a Jewish boy. Well, so am I, but I've never really been particularly fond. It's because I'm older. It is. I think that's... Yeah, I, I it was mean, more of a generation... Yes, like chopped liver is like one of your yeah, favorite things. It is. Oh my God. And the liver we and made the other day. Uh, and I know it's going to be a hard sell. Not a lot of people are going to be finding that. But I love that. I'm missing something from this. Cool. So let me, let me just see my list. Go that way for one second. Ah, that's it. Versus our salt and pepper. Okay, I'm good. All right. So here's, your, here's what we got. We've got... Uh, we've got mayo... Think Thousand Island dressing, but advanced a little bit, right? Yeah. Hold on, I got mayonnaise dishes here. You really want to show this? I don't know what was there. It's like somebody. It's weird. It was like, what happened to you? I just. No, no, no. It just You're went okay? against the cabinet. So mayo here. Clearly, we don't need that much. And no, I won't cut over to that shot of you getting rid of the dirty mayo. It was like somebody mayo. grossed me out there. Okay, so now some ketchup. Yeah. And this is the Sir Kensington. That's actually, I should say, actually, it's very good. There's Sir Kensington right there. Okay. Well, no, sorry, I need. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. 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 So um, a little horseradish that I have trouble saying. Horsh. I say horsh and it's not. Horseradish. There we go. A little Worcester. That. A little salt and pepper. Love these clear bowls. Good. And uh, not traditional, but I want it. A little sriracha. Not a lot. I'm not trying to turn this into something that you would put in a, a taco. Uh, I don't want this to be overly spicy, but a little heat, and I think we've talked about this before, a little heat makes, I think, things better. And it doesn't necessarily have to make them hot. It just adds a profile that makes for really goodness. Okay, so here we are. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's some Russian dressing I can get myself behind. That's really good. How can you even taste anything by that little 
That little stab at the well, side of the bowl. I wasn't gonna swing my whole finger in there. You could have. I did. If it was me and you, then I would. It's but it's us. There's a big Asian man over there that probably doesn't want to eat my fingers. <laughs> wow. You really made it to come out like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you did. Well, you, they, you guys do eat chicken feet, so. We do eat chicken feet, right, Lynn? Yeah, I've never had Jewish finger, though. <laughs> <laughs> we eat chicken feet, not when they're attached to really a chicken, Really tender. Though. Not when they're attached to a chicken. Jewish finger, I've heard, is very tender. All right, so coleslaw. I use the bag coleslaw, and I'm 100% okay with it. Watch. I don't think, I think if I'm making my own Russian dressing and then I'm gonna build this whole sandwich and do all this, what I don't need to do is now start making my own coleslaw. I'm okay with that. If somebody wants to give me shit for that, then fine. Look, Sandra Lee, what's her name? Sandra Lee has made a career out of like mixing canned peaches together with canned other shit and whatever on that yeah. show of hers. I'm not trying to be Sandra mm. Lee, I'm just trying to say, hey, Make some stuff, buy some stuff, and you'll be in good shape. The truth is we just don't care what you guys think. No, that's not true. No. We don't when care it, what no, the haters when, think. That's what I'm saying. Well, Max, way about, to ingratiate yourself to the audience. <laughs> we don't care about what any of you think. Mm. No, I'm saying we don't care about the people who say, a bag of coleslaw? Screw them. Like, that's fine. Like the douchebag that, that when I... We talk about the doctors and their scrubs again. Did we cover that? Yes. Because I don't remember. We did. The guy that the guy that complained about me cooking and and, and touching my dogs. You recently posted to Facebook or me. Instagram something about the scrubs, and it's so funny to go through those comments because some people get really upset. Guy's got just like his ass burnt out of shape because I uh, maybe he was a doctor that does that. I have no idea. Yeah. All right. So the components, sorry, are of the of the classic or of the Reuben that we're making are this. There's Swiss cheese. They're pastrami, they're rye bread, and I brought Jewish rye bread because we get points for them being Jewish. It goes in, it goes in the big book, and when we go upstairs one day, if I got enough positive points for buying <laughs> Jewish rye bread, chopped liver, gefilte fish, stuff like that, I'm gonna get a way better room in heaven, assuming I'm going to heaven. And I believe I am. I think I do the right things. So now, we could just build this with the rye bread and the pastrami as it is, like this, cold. But we're gonna heat it because that's really what's gonna make this a lot better. Does coming off of a 12 hour shift excuse you from wearing scrubs to the grocery store? No, no. You don't think so? No, then? it does not. No. I, I guess I agree because if you think about it, if a construction worker was coming off of a 12 hour shift and he was covered in mud and dirt, that wouldn't be an excuse to go into the no, grocery store. Oh, it wouldn't be. I don't think it would. Right. Look, I've seen some construction workers in a supermarket before looking pretty dirty. But there's a camera on me, please. There's a difference between dirt and like bacteria and 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 uh, contagible. Contagious. Contagious like germs and shit like that. Contaminable. Contaminable. <laughs> what did I say? Contagible. Contagible. It's actually not a bad, uh, not a bad, <laughs> not a bad term. So here's what we're doing. All we're doing on the flat griddle is we're just going to get this pastrami to the point where it's nice and warm. We've got the heat on all beautiful here. All right. So here, let's do this. Let's start some cheese on this just to get it going. Oh, come on, man. I can't even get the cheese off of this. Okay, now let's build this. Here, watch. Come over here, Max. And then we're gonna get back on there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the Russian dressing, and a lot of it, because I really like it, okay? This is gonna go on here. Ah, oh, maron, there we go. Okay, this. This goes here. I need some butter, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, as we say in Canada. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, eh? Right, now this is gonna go down. Oh, pardon. Okay, so pardon. two things two things are gonna get added after. And one is gonna be a fried egg that I wanna cook and then add because I want the runny yolk. And then the coleslaw, because I wanna keep the coleslaw crisp and cold. 
as a um, counterpoint to the warm hot sandwich. Not, okay. not soggy and wet. Not soggy and wet. All right, we're taking a break. We're going to come back. Egg will be there. This will be on the other side ready to go. And then we'll build the thing and then we'll eat it. And damn it, is it going to be good? Go away. Go take a break. Now, 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 now. Okay, here we go. Check this out. So look, egg going here. It's going in like this. This guy's wow! It is like you know what I got. I got cheese coming out of this thing. Uh oh. So that's okay. So watch how this is going to happen. How's this going to happen? I don't know why everything's sticking so badly. My bread's busted open. This whole thing's going to hell in a handbasket. Which classic me. Why does this have to happen to me? Uh oh. God, I got real trouble right here in River City. What movie is that from? Uh, Rands with the capital T and Sins for Pool. Uh, the Music Man, I think it's called The Music Man from way back, old school movie. So now we're going to do this. Then we're going to add coleslaw to this. So I think the idea of trying to fit the, uh, the egg under that is going to be impossible. Egg's going to go like this, and then we're going to come over to this and we're going to cut it. There. Oh, shit. Everything is so damn it hot. Where's the bottom of the bread? Here we go. That's a big ass sandwich. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to give you an idea of what's going on here. The pastrami underneath. This whole thing. Now what's going to happen, you know what's going to happen when we cut this. What's going to happen? Fall right apart and egg's going to bust out. Egg's going to bust out. And that's exactly what we want. So let's try this. I'm ready. Wow. And wow, at the risk of being a pig shot. and making everybody in this room jealous. Oh. How amazing. That's a good thing when he's speechless. Never mind. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting the, the crispy coleslaw in there, the runny egg that just richens up the whole thing beautifully. The pastrami that's been grilled, and you just get the a little bit of the, the, the horseradish coming out of the Russian dressing that we made, tiny bit of sriracha in there. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. Look how good that is. Just look how good that is. Mm. Crazy. All right. Mm. 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 Honestly, I gotta stop. Okay, this is part one of part three of Delhi Pastrami Week. I can tell you this, Wednesday show, oh, it'd be really good too, really good too. All right, thanks for hanging out with us. Store-bought deli pastrami, imagine the possibilities. Well, you don't have to imagine, they're right here. Thanks for being here with us. Tell your friends, make this, don't eat the same food all the time. See you Wednesday, pastrami continues.